Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Japan. And today we're going to do a video review on Play Arts Action Figure Kai Chun Li. This is from Street Fighter 4, the Super or Super Street Fighter 4, the arcade edition. And I'm trying to emulate that Kikokin, but I'll tell you what, it's not easy. But hey, at least she can stand up. She's got nice big feet, which is good. And I don't want to tell you, the detailing on this boy, or girl rather, is rather exquisite. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Well, let me show you the box as always. Here we go. Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition Play Arts Action Figure Kai Chun-Li So hey, it's expensive. Yeah, that translates to about $63. So I'll tell you what, if you can import it or actually There's a little key cook and I tried to emulate that. It's not easy to do that. Here's the back of the box the little poses and I'm gonna tell you this that pose is impossible without some kind of stand and it does not come with a stand So already I'm kind of disappointed so she can get in good poses, uh, as you can see uh, from the back in the day. Uh, bottom of the box, Square Enix. <laughs> you can read backwards. So let's go ahead, take a look at the figure. And as I said before, let me show you the extras while we got it. It does come with this little fireball looking thing with a stand. So if you want to see, that is the fireball. Let me take old Chun Lee in the background here. Yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. That is the fireball right there, as you can see the detailing on that. I don't know if the dust is supposed to be like that, but hey, there you go. It's a traditional fireball. I think uh, reuse is pretty much the same, and I'll tell you, getting that little post in there was a pain. So, good detailing, a little extra. Did they need to do that? I don't know. It comes with a stand. Unfortunately, the figure doesn't come with a stand. It does come with this extra head here, as you can see, nice little detail, the makeup on there, the blush, the open, and the uh, earrings, and you can uh, put the little buns or whatever they were. So the detailing is pretty good. There's the extra head, and it, it actually comes pa packaged with the two closed fists. So I got the open fist, and I put it over here. So that is the figure right there. Yeah, I'm trying to do that little Kikokin pose, but I can't seem to get it. You know, as you can see, the head very detailed with the amount of blush and uh, what do you call that? Uh, mascara. Uh, I don't know if the lip gloss is on there. So, very good detailing on it. The paint detailing is good. And it's got her brown hair. The little buns, of course, which has detail. The white little splotches of gold on the white, uh, whatever they're called. And look at the detailing on this. This is like PVC quality on the on her dress or China dress. Very good. And a little poofy arms which unfortunately does limit the shoulder articulation yes the shoulder can rotate and it can move in and out with this little extra joint over here but there's no bicep swivel that I'm aware of and there's this thing is actually made of plastic over here and it has the nice little Revoltech joint on the elbow and a little jointed on the on the hand so just like a Revoltech joints if you're familiar with that so good articulation there. Head is on a bowl joint, so as you can see, she can crane really well. And the neck itself has a swivel right here. So good articulation right there. Uh, they got an upper ab crunch, very tight too. Yeah, you know, like the uh, what you might call it, the X situation on her breast. Uh, let's see what else we got. Waist swivel check. Yep. So yeah, the detailing is fantastic. And for all you thigh lovers, look at that meaty portion right there. You know, I've seen freaking, what do you call that, <laughs> linebackers with smaller calves. So you thigh lovers are going to love that double jointed knee, which looks really disjointed. So she has an about an eight and a half inch scale, almost nine inches. So I like the detailing on the boots with it's dusty, it's not exactly white, ball jointed on the ankle right here. Again, the Revell Tech joints, looking for good articulation in that respect. So there we go. So it's beautiful. Yeah, the skirt itself is made of soft plastic, but of course, in a shining blue over here. There you go from underneath. So, yeah, good detailing as you can see. The only thing I don't like is her thighs pop up. So, and I'm trying to actually do a split kick or something. And yeah, from behind, she's not wearing much. <sighs> very difficult, very difficult. So, let's go ahead, put her back in. And hopefully. So articulation's not bad. I wish it was more. I mean, for the figure this size, about eight and a half, nine inches. Let's go ahead, set her down, give her a nice size comparison. If I can stand her up, and this is the bad thing about this, man, standing her up is a pain. All right, there she is. 
We go in with this with Kanu Uncho from Ikitosen. She is about five and a half inches, which is the standard figure height. And here is good old cutie honey. 12 inch figure, if I can get her to stand. So there we go. In comparison, let me zoom out so you can see. They're in between both sizes, pretty much. So hey, there you go. It's a nice little size comparison. Uh, the figure it is very nice. I'm going to tell you, it, I mean, if it were a PVC statue, this would have been awesome. As an action figure, it's kind of limited by its ports of articulation. Very few extras and hefty price tag. I mean, I paid 63 bucks and I live in Japan for crying out loud. So you guys, if you can get it for whatever it retails, 55, 60 bucks, man, this is steal. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 if she can fix her flaws and get some good articulation and more de or more actual parts, it would be more awesome. Alright YouTubers, that's all I got and I'll catch you all next time.